Hey guys, today we're going to talk about how to zoom in Sony Vegas. So let's get started. I've already uh, put in two clips up here in my um, project media folder. So I'll just mark them both and drag them in. And we'll just get rid of the audio. You just right click on the audio track and say delete track. Alrighty. So um, let's see if we can find a spot where I'm actually doing some damage in this. This is World of Warcraft footage, by the way. Let's just cut this off right there and just remove these two tracks. I did that by control, holding down control and clicking both these. So if I, now, it's, uh, now, now nothing's selected. I control click on this one and control click on this one and they're both selected. Push delete. Now we can move this back. Alrighty. So now we have the clip right here and you want to zoom. Let's say you want to zoom in on what's actually happening right there. What you do is you click this event pan crop button right here and it opens up a new window. There you go. Uh, let's see if we can actually move this so we can also see. See, down here you have a position and a mask. Masking, I'll go into that in another tutorial. But the position, that's, uh, that's the one we're going to be using. So um, you can say like from here, there's a mark. That's full screen, right? You can see you have all these edges here. I'm just going to zoom out a bit. You have all these edges here, those little dots. That's the full screen. So let's say something happens right around here and you want to zoom in. So mm, just let's just zoom in at the beginning. No, let's uh, do it around here where this demolisher gets destroyed. So here I'm adding a new keyframe. So I'm doing that now. Bam. So just turning this one over and there it gets exploded. I'm adding yet another keyframe by pushing this plus button. Now we're working with this keyframe because that one's selected. So what you can do now is you can, you can just grab one of these angles here and just zoom in and move it to wherever you want it to be. Sometimes the distance between these has to be fixed because it might be zooming really fast. So you can just click it and drag it. Just remove the timeline. Otherwise it's going to auto sync up with that. So see, now I can just move it however I want down here. It's really, really simple. So let's just do it like that and see how that looks. Boom. See, that worked just fine. The only problem is now, now it keeps being zoomed in, right? So what you can do is go back to the uh, event pan crop, select this keyframe and just move it. I'm, I'm really OCD about these kind of things. So I want to be, I wanted to have the same distance between the dots. I add yet another keyframe. And as the first keyframe was Full screen, you can just right click on the right click here anywhere you want and say restore. And then it goes right back. So let's see how that looks as well. Uh, and just play it from here. Bam. And then it zooms out again. That was a little fast, if you ask me. So I might go in there again. You can just uh, scroll upwards on your mouse and then you'll zoom in. That way you can move them. So I'll just do it like this instead and add the same amount to this one. There you go. Let's see how that looks. Play it. 
if it looks a bit choppy up here, it's because it's it's really really high resolution footage that I'm using. See that looked it's exactly like it was supposed to. Zooming in and then zooming out. Okay, you can do the same thing and just say you want to have the second one here. Just click on it. It's really important that you click the keyframe. If you just start doing anything outside here, let's say I want to do this right now, it automatically adds a keyframe. See, it added a keyframe right down there. I'm just clicking it and pushing delete on my keyboard. There you go. What you could also do is just, if you want it, you could have this one turn. But see, you don't want this one to go outside the picture because if you look at the picture up here it gets black unless you have something in the background then it's not good so oh um so let's not turn it too much and just have it like that so see how that looks okay Playing it. See, that's how that's done. A little tip here, guys. If it looks chunky when it zooms in, like it looks like it's lagging or something, go back into the event pan crop button and uh, click the first one, then control click the last ones here. Or actually just click the ones where it starts zooming. So click that one. Control click and control click. Now these all all these three keyframes are selected. Right click on any of them and put it into smooth, which is gonna make this the, the zooming a lot more smoother so it won't look like it's lagging. It will here when I show you the clip because it's it's like I said it's really high um, resolution footage, so it will look like this in, in the preview, um, but that can help a whole lot. So put it into smooth and everything will work perfectly. So that was it for this tutorial, how to zoom and how to zoom out. The, the same, same thing applies, you can zoom out as well. So um, I hope this helped you guys, so uh, have fun and uh, take care.